we were excited to finally make it back to the playoffs um, for the first time in a few years. And for a lot of our team, that was the first time we went there. So I think there's always that hunger to want to win a championship, to want to get to the playoffs on day one of preseason every year. And I don't think that we necessarily lacked that in the past, but now that we were able to finish on that higher note and actually now all of our returners have tasted that and made it to the semifinals, I do think there's that added incentive and at least it's a little bit more real. We have six freshmen and this year was actually different than every other year because we had to live together for three days in one of our dorms here, which actually was really nice. It was a sweet style, so all 13 of us were in the same dorm. That helped a lot with like getting to know each other's personalities and know how people want to be talked to and how they interact. Are they shy? Are they loud? Like, how are they? And then with that, we had a lot of team meetings about like what our goals are and what our culture is. So I think a lot of like doing our culture as upperclassmen and demonstrating what's expected it's easy for the freshmen and for even the sophomores still to like see what's expected and to go off of that. Last year's senior class was great. Um, obviously a big senior class to lose and five people um, and significant impacts on and off the court from all of them. So um, that was definitely a big shift in our program, them leaving. Um, but we also have six new freshmen coming in and they're doing a great job. Um, you know, the expectations on day one are the same for everyone regardless of class year. And so I think their learning curve has been really fast, which has been huge for our team and being able to progress through preseason. And then the returners and the older kids have just been awesome. I think we've really developed this cohesive atmosphere by not being focused on classes. So there are technically six incoming freshmen and then seven upper classmen, including the sophomores. But we don't really think about it as classes. Everyone's an equal. Everyone has an equal opportunity to be a starter on the court and play a role no matter what it is. Everyone can step up and be a leader no matter their age or their role on the team, whether they are on the bench during the first game. But that doesn't mean anything by the end of the season. Someone that's on the bench could be a starter in the next game. Like, we don't know. So everyone's competing and everyone's thriving off of all that energy that we're bringing. So I really think that we're all just working together because we want to make each other as best as we can be. So we do three phases. So phase one is a lot slower. It's broken down. So we like walk through. It's like not that many balls. It's going through our defense, going through our serve receive, going through every single play on offense and getting a feel for both of our setters' hands and what we can work on and all that stuff. And so it's four days on and then one day off. So that's phase one. And then phase two, we like pick up the drills, pick up the intensity. It's a lot more cooperative and teamwork kind of stuff, stuff that's more mentally challenging, I would say, than physically. And then the third phase is a lot of six on six play. It's stimulated game play to get us ready for our tournament. I think this year we're focused on a lot more like rapid movement to help increase our off the ball movement and our vertical. So we had our first lift last week and it was com structured completely different than previous lifts. And it's focused for being in season and like maintaining shoulder stability to make sure we're still maintaining our stamina and endurance that we gained from last spring in the summer season, but not necessarily like trying to bulk up and be sore so that we aren't able to compete at our fullest ability during practice. And then he also brought in a new warm up, which uses a lot of resistance bands so that we can focus on glute activation and activating all our major muscles so that we're focused on the right technique and everything even in practice to minimize injuries, which we've had a lot of in previous years. So we're trying to weed those out, especially with all the new incomings so that everyone has the right form from the start. So in volleyball, it's a lot of up and downs and it's easy to go on runs and also let the other team go on runs. So our theme for this year is really focusing on trying to stay high energy. We do like mini games to five, so trying to be like the first to five, first to 10 and not let those teams get on the big runs that like hurt us in the long run. Starting this weekend, we're playing at St. A's in Southern New Hampshire um, and they're co-hosting and we're also playing Shepherd. So it is a little bit out of the ordinary for us to play um, conference opponents in non-conference matches, although we occasionally have done it. So um, that's a little bit of a different structure for us. And um, but I think it'll still be awesome. Uh, all three of those teams are very competitive. Um, we had competitive matches with all of them last year. We had Shepard in our home tournament. Um, actually, they were our season opener last year and it was a competitive match, but definitely from there, we bring it back home. Um, we have our home tournament the second weekend of the season and playing again, a couple more regional matches. Um, so definitely gonna be a lot of competition and matches that matter to start off the season. And so that's exciting. You know, there's not really any easing in. We're getting right Right into it but I think that's for the better so I'm excited for the road ahead.